Hey, Jim Leonard here. Uh, when I created the software collector's mailing list in 1999, it was so that I could initially discuss with some other software collector friends uh, the creation of a common grading scale that we could use when we were discussing the, the grade of our conditions. There have been grading scales created for comic books and for uh, figurines and things like that, records in particular, but nothing for software. Uh, one of the things that uh, really inf affects the, the worth of a piece of software is whether or not it is still shrink-wrapped. And so what I wanted to do was go over a couple of common uh, shrink-wraps, um, ways that you can identify if something is uh, authentically shrink-wrapped from the factory or if it was re-wrapped by, uh, by the place that uh, may have resold it to the person you got it from. So this is a factory sh shrink-wrapped version of Jet. Uh, one of my favorite games for the PC because it is so very well programmed. It gets more than five frames a second on an original stock machine. But anyway, uh, hallmarks of original wrap is that uh, if you see original stickers still on the outside, that is a good indication. Um, and actually, we have a factory sticker here. I think this is a factory sticker as well. This should say, um, you can barely see it there, Sublogic or Sublodge something or other. But... Hallmarks of good wrap are that of factory original wrap is that it is flexible and that the seams are very, very clean. What I mean by the seam is that when uh, a box is put into shrink wrap, uh, into a shrink wrap machine, it's put into a pouch of uh, this shrink material. It's kind of like cellophane. And then heat is applied and it shrinks. And then the ends are cut off by a, a heated wire. Now, I know all this because I used to work at Babbage's and Egghead Software in the 80s and 90s, and I used to re-shrink products, but the, the re-shrink in the store and the factory shrink are mostly the same thing. The big difference is, is how clean the factory shrink is. And you can see how clean this line is. It's not messy. It's not dirty. Um... And uh, also, the shrink wrap has, uh, it was never over shrunk so that it's split or destroyed at the factory. You can see here that the, the wrap here is very loose. Uh, there's lots of wrinkles, for example. And you'll see that even after 30 odd years, it still retains a bit of flexibility. Here I am manipulating the shrink. You can see the sticker moving around, etc. I think the same here. Yes, yeah, so this is nice and flexible. It's almost as if you were picking up something today. So that's good shrink. Um, also, sometimes on factory shrink, you will see, uh, I'm trying to see if I see it here, sometimes you'll see some, here we go, some <clears throat> some folding or overlap. Let me see if I can get some better focus here. Um, it's a little hard to see here, but sometimes the shrink wrap will be look like it's folded, almost like a, like a present. Um, That's not a very good example, but I have a, a different one here. Uh, this is a new old stock PC Junior joystick. I know it's not software, but the same thing applies. Now, even though this seam is pretty rough, um, it is still factory original because, once again, it is still very uh, easily manipulated. I'm not going to pull it off completely, but you can see it's still kind of flexible. Here's this kind of fold that I was talking about, and this is the kind of thing you see in a um, if it was uh, shrink-wrapped like um, by a machine at the factory. And another thing, too, is that uh, factory shrink will usually have uh, some holes in it. And I don't know if I don't know exactly why, um, but there will be tiny little holes that are almost perfect. And I think that's because it was I don't know if that was because of the machine handling uh, or something else. So I'm going to try to focus on this so you can see what I'm talking about. I apologize. This might take a little bit of time to to focus. There we go. So where is ah? So here we go. Here's one hole. I don't know if you can see that. And here's actually another one. You see, I'm I'm trying to highlight it. You see how these are almost perfect little holes here? These are holes in the shrink. And I think that's because it was to either let air out or to allow it some flexibility or whatever. So again, even though this is a little bit of a rough seam on the bottom, it's still flexible. It has the little holes. It has the fold. It is original shrink. Now what is re-shrinked stuff? This is something I picked up from a software resale shop. And you can see, in fact, it even says recycled. Factory, uh, non-factory shrink is very, very stiff, and I can manipulate it a little bit, but you, it's, it's in, uh, you can't see this in the video, but it's the feel. The feel of it is very stiff and brittle. The seams are very dirty. Look at that. And that's because the, the wire in the, in the, in the shrink wrap machines at the, 
um, at software stores in the 80s and 90s, had, it was a really big wire, and it was very it was very hard to get a nice clean cut. And usually it doesn't flex well, and it usually splits. Here you can see this one's just plain split. So you'll see holes in it, but they won't be regular holes, and they'll usually be along the split. Um, and uh, let you know. And again, in terms of being flexible or brittle, see if you can hear this. You hear how crinkly that is? That's not really nice and flexible like cellophane. That's like hard, crunchy plastic. So that's so it just feels che it feels cheaper and, and uh, you know this looks like a fold, but it's actually just simply where it bunched up. And you can hear again how crinkly this stuff is. Um, let me go back to autofocus here. Yeah, very dirty edges. I mean, this is where the uh, the shrink has kind of let's focus. This is where the shrink has kind of bunched up here. Um, and v less obvious telltale signs is that uh, the shrink is actually over um, there. Uh, it's been shrink wrapped over the sticker. <laughs> So there was there's a sticker holding the the two halves of this thing together, and the shrink wrap is over the top of it. And well, anyway, um, so that's bad. Now, it's usually pretty easy to tell bad shrink from good shrink. It's, it's usually very obvious based on that. This is an interesting one. This is something I just recently picked up, and the shrink is very very flexible, and the seams are very good, but there is a tiny little hole here, and then on the back, this is usually what happened when you uh, put the air on the shrink wrap too much and it would just make this big old hole. Now this hole is super big, and it's got hallmarks of both, so how can we tell if this is original shrink or not? It's very strange to have a super large hole like this, and it is very flexible still. So my guess is that this is not re-shrinked. This is just a factory, factory one that's gone bad. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, there's really no way to tell unless you open it. So I'm going to open it. Now this is an application, not a piece, not a game software. So I wouldn't necessarily consider this super collectible. It's from this is um, a word processing suite. So again, it feels, I mean, this doesn't help you if you're collecting it, but taking this off, I can already tell this is original shrink. It's very, very flexible. It's, it's not making a super hard, brittle, crackly noise. I'll bet if I open this up, I'm going to see everything that's still sealed. So let's take a look. Yeah, everything is still sealed. And the discs, where are the discs? The discs are, are still, well, this isn't technically sealed. It's open, but um, but it sure looks like this whole thing has never been used. Everything's still packaged together, and demonstration copy. If you've ever seen this demonstration copy not for resale, this is what happened when people would uh, distribute their stuff to major software stores. Babbage's and Egghead, and I would imagine a few others, got these, and they were for um, salespeople to learn about the product and... Um, yeah, let's see. They were for salespeople to learn about the product without actually opening up new product. And I'll bet if I take a look at this. Let's see. I mean, if it's been worn at all, you can usually tell. Now this thing is, let me turn the disc a little bit. No, this is this isn't been touched. So my initial uh my initial guess was correct. This was factory shrink, but that big hole was just simply a manufacturing defect in the shrink. So, I hope uh, if this has been useful and informative. If, uh, if not, please feel free to leave me a comment and ask me some more questions. Um, software collecting is uh, a, a... I wouldn't say it, it's rare, but it's definitely a niche, ho a niche hobby. It is uh, not as well known as... Um, let's say Nintendo cartridge, uh, you know, console cartridge collecting and things like that, but some of the same stuff still applies. So I hope this is useful, and if not, uh, leave me a message.